Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're going to be doing my favorites video for August and September of 2020. If you've been following my channel, then you'll know that I only do favorites videos every couple of months because I really want the products that I put in these videos to be actual favorites. I don't want to have this done monthly, every other weekly, just to have a video to put up. These are all products that are specifically tried and true and that I have my full stamp of approval on. These are not new products, and if they are newer, newer products, I make sure I have them for at least a month and I've fully tested them out before they're put into one of these videos. Because you'll probably know in your own experience you have a product that you really like at first, but then the more you use it, the more it's like, meh. So these are all products that I've had for a long time and that I love. I have a whole playlist with all of my favorites videos going back a couple of years now, so if you want to binge watch that, I will have it up in the cards. Today I have seven products to talk about, so let's go ahead and jump in. These are kind of all over the place. I've got some eyeshadow, um, a highlighter, a face palette. So let's jump in first with, I'll try to go in the order in which you would apply it if you were doing a full face. And for me, the first favorite is Dermacol. Not only is this just a so good full coverage concealer, I like to use this as a spot concealer. I actually have... Some of the first videos I did on my channel were about Dermacol and how much I loved it and the way that I used it and the way that it worked for me. So I'll throw up one of my first earlier videos talking about Dermacol. I love mixing this with foundations to add a little bit more coverage. I love using this to spot conceal. And recently I've actually been testing and experimenting as using this as just a regular under eye concealer. I'm wearing it today and I have to say I'm actually pretty impressed at how nice it looks and how it basically challenges the other concealers that I have in my collection. And because of how cheap this is, I got this for right between $10 and $15 on Amazon a while ago. This tube is huge and you only need the tiniest amount of product because it's so full coverage and goes so far. I have the shade 210, which thankfully is still a good shade match for me. Like I said, I used this on my under eyes today to conceal and it didn't look insane on me. It was a decent shade match. So I pulled this out in my last, um, I believe it was my October monthly makeup basket because I wanted to experiment more. Try it as an eye primer, try it as an under eye concealer, try it for other things because I've had this for so long. And to be honest, the product is still good. I don't feel it turning like recently but I don't know how long it's gonna last. And I do have a full backup of this in my collection that I have not opened up yet. So I don't know how long it's gonna last and I kind of just wanna play more with it, experiment more with it. But to this point, I absolutely adore this product and I do think it is fully worth it if you wanna use this as a foundation mixer or as a spot concealer, cause it's just, nah. If you actually wanna see this in action on a full face, um, I believe uh, Taylor Wynn, did the video where I first saw this. She did a 15 days of foundation featuring this foundation. I'll have it up in the cards if you're interested, but that just kind of blew my mind. I don't personally like using this by itself all over my face, but I do love it as a spot concealer, as a primer, not primer, as a spot concealer or as a just under eye concealer. Next, I have a favorite that I've been um, trying to pan in my HP Project Pan, and it's been in a few of my favorites videos before, and I just am so happy that I still love this highlighter. This is the Becca Royal Glow highlighter and this is a bit of a sneak peek from my next update but this is how much of the highlighter that I have left and I am indeed wearing it today. I love this highlighter. I love this highlighter when I was like four shades darker than I am now and I still love it now. It is gorgeous. It blends out beautifully. It is blinding. It's I love this highlighter. I love the packaging. I love the formula. I love everything about this highlighter and this has been my favorite or one of my favorite highlighters for years now. I believe it is. Wow. It's it's just such a good highlight. And the fact that it worked really well when I was like pretty tan versus now when I am like grungy snow white. I just I love how versatile it is. And I've seen this swatched on deeper complexions and it is still gorgeous. I, I just love this highlighter. I believe it is now no longer available. I did buy a full size backup, which is why I wanted to pan this one so I could finish this one up and then actually open my backup and just have that in my regular highlighter rotation. But I, I love this highlighter so much and I'm glad I got to spend this much time with it. Next, let's talk about a face palette that I fell in love with and this is from Midas Cosmetics. This is the Dawn face palette and this was part of a collaboration with Neon MUA. And look how pretty. I got the lightest shade, of course, which is Dawn. They have Dawn, I believe, Noon, 
afternoon or I forgot the names I'll have them up here because I just I am putty brain right now but this is the lightest shade it's a really good reliable face palette I really like the hot pink blush I didn't know if I was going to like it as much but I really do like it this highlight is blinding it is just it's the creamiest thing I have ever put on my hands it is just stunning and the bronzer and the contour are just perfect matches for my skin tone they blend out beautifully and this is just a perfect thing to pull out if i want to go boom 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 done and look flawless it looks gorgeous and this is really affordable too and i love that this was a collab and a collab with a smaller black male influencer and i love that they did a full range of these face palettes for every skin tone and I just, I love everything about it and it just, it really worked well for me and I really love it. Next, I have a product that I believe has been in quite a few of my favorites videos, but I didn't really appreciate it again until recently. And that is the NYX Control Freak Brow Gel. This is my favorite affordable brow gel. A few years ago, I fell in love with the ABH Clear Brow Gel, which was just like the perfect thing for my brows because I have thick curly brows. <laughs> they do curl like towards the edges. And in order to keep them in place, I needed something that made my brows like stay and be a bit crunchy. I like the crunchy brow gels. And the ABH brow gel was like the perfect one, but it's 20 bucks for a tube. It's insane, like how much it is. I got this NYX Control Freaks brow gel. This is around $6, I believe, if you get it on Amazon. And it's the closest dupe I've gotten to the ABH Clear Brow Gel. This like keeps them all in place. It's really affordable. The only thing is that the spoolie is a little bit too big for my brow. So I tend to just go in like this and try to do this very carefully because I can um, kind of disperse my brow product throughout like here and here if I'm not very careful. But this is more than worth it. I have gone through more of these than I can count and I believe I have two more on backup. It's my everyday go-to brow gel love it to pieces next let's talk about some eyeshadow so this is a quad i tend to not really like smaller palettes but i got this palette i believe last year and i've been in love with it ever since this is the midas cosmetics pumpkin spice latte palette oh i just realized there's two products with midas cosmetics in here and no i do not have a midas cosmetics code that's one thing that kind of bugs me sidebar here when like there's a new release or when s something new from midas specifically i've noticed midas kind of seems like the new morphe ish and i don't want to be mean about it but i mean it's like the new morphe as in like when a new midas release comes out or whenever someone does a video it's my timeline is full of people saying oh great new product use my code blah 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 for Midas use my code blah 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 for codes off in Midas and I'm just like eh, it's everyone has a Midas code and I have to say the products are great there's two of them in my favorites video but I, I don't like the constant constant code it just reminds me of Morphe codes you know just anyway anyway sidebar done <laughs> but this pumpkin spice latte it's I love this. This is a gorgeous fall palette. The shades are pigmented and stunning. I did do a Spall Empathy palette with this video a while ago. I'll throw that up in the cards. This is what I'm looking for in a beautiful fall palette. Ah, uh, the shades are creamy. They're pigmented. I literally couldn't ask for anything more. Next for eyeshadow, I have a line of new... <laughs> or newer liquid shadows from Natasha Denona. These are all of the Natasha Denona liquid chromium shadows. I fell in love with these so hard. I did a full video of the review. I'll throw it up in the cards if I have any more card space left, but I love these. They're definitely different. I, I bought these expecting one thing, kind of like a Stila Glitter and Glow dupe, but these are very different not in a good not in a bad way <laughs> oops this is actually one of the only shadows i can wear with no primer and it looks gorgeous as a one look a one shadow look and it lasts all day on my hooded eyes these are stunning they are pretty expensive though so unfortunately uh yeah do i think the average person needs all five no absolutely not but if there is a color story that interests you make sure you check out my video because i do detailed eye and skin swatches of every one of the shades i i just love these i brought these when i went on um vacation and what i did i basically didn't wear makeup almost all the vacation but when we went out and i wanted to throw a little bit of eyeshadow on i literally just threw one of these on my lid blended it out with a brush mascara good and i looked gorgeous it was it was amazing so I love these. I've been getting a lot of good use out of them. And yeah, definitely favorite worthy. 
Last but certainly not least, this would not be one of my fall favorites videos without my holy grail lipstick. This is the Rebel Rose lipstick from Wet n Wild. I haven't been wearing this on camera as much because I've been trying to test out either pixie lipsticks like what I'm wearing today or my black lipsticks from my upcoming black lipsticks video, but this is... I keep going back to this lipstick. I love this. It is just such a pretty shade. Let me swatch it out for you. If you do not know, it is just, just this perfect mid-tone just shade that just screams fall. Uh, mm. I love this. I'm probably going to keep this out in my everyday makeup basket for the rest of fall. It's just a beautiful shade, stunning, and I just love how comfortable it is on the lip, how pigmented it is, how long-lasting it is, and how comfortable. So that is it. Those are all of my recent favorites. Let me know down below what your current favorites are, and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.